This video is based on recommendations received on the channel. Thai dramas had a problem in early 2010s in portraying women strong and independent because the man always had to be stronger. Recently, we have female characters that aren't just strong and bold but are playing the role of a woman in her true essence. So, if you're looking for strong female characters that portray women in a more relatable way, here are 15 such strong female leads in Thai dramas. While some will inspire you and push the boundaries, others will show how dark a woman can be. There is something different to offer in each of these characters and that's probably why we love these new age female characters. Number 1. The Crown Princess Because her life was put into danger after her coronation, Crown Princess Alice of the Country Hyros was secretly sent to Thailand, where Davin Samutya Khan, a lieutenant commander of the Thai Navy and Navy SEAL becomes her bodyguard. Great acting, good chemistry of both the leads, so as always, Yaya's acting also was exceptional here. This actress really can bring each of her characters to life. She carries Princess Alice like the character was all long. She portrayed a kick-ass crown princess, cold from the outside but very warm inside, knows when she needs to fight her enemies up front and when she needs to give in. Overall, this is a very good lakon. Watch this if you are a Yadik fan and love action drama romance genre. Number 2. Kyu Klang Dong Song Pao is a wealthy city guy that likes wildfire and outdoors. He is best friends with Mue Di's father who lives in a small village in the forest. One day, Song Pao goes into the forest to camp with Mue Di's father who ends up being killed by a tiger. Before he dies, he asks Song Pao to take his daughter to the city and take care of her. However, things don't go as planned because Song Pao has a friend named Wan who likes Pao and is always picking on Muadi behind his back and it gets worse when Song Pao falls for Muadi. This Lakon has no slap and kiss, no violent scenes and no evil relatives. What you get instead is a fun slapstick and a cute show that also addresses certain social issues like environmental conservation as well as drug and sex trafficking. On the whole, it was a very well executed story. There were serious moments, but the show did a great job interjecting comedic moments and sound effects, so the scenes never got too dark. Number 3. Kluin Chiwit Jirawat is a cheerful, hard working woman who is a famous model and an actress. Her mother married a smarmy but rich man who secretly lusts after his stepdaughter. After he attempts to drug Jirawat, she manages to escape by driving away. Unfortunately, due to forcefully drugged, she hits a young woman on the road, who later dies at the hospital. The dead young woman has a fiancé, Satit, who happens to be a lawyer. He vows revenge on the female driver who killed his beloved fiancé. Unfortunately, Jirawat's stepfather and mother use their influence and money to hide and hush all the evidence. Satik decides to stalk and bother her to find the evidence that she's an evil and manipulative temptress. But in the end, he finds out that she's actually a good and a kind person, despite her lowly beginnings, and gradually falls in love with her. The story is a revenge drama that turns to love, and this drama is the best portrayal of that I've ever seen till today. Intense storyline with great acting cast, especially from the leads who are just great together. One of the best chemistry between leads I have ever seen so far and they conveyed their emotions so well. Mark and Yaya are really good, brilliant chemistry. They just make it feel so real. I can just feel the emotion right away. Number 4. Love Destiny Kate Surang is a modern day girl who travels back in time 300 years after a car accident. There she finds herself inhabiting the body of Mei Ying Karakate, 
a noble who resides with her father's best friend and his family. Much to Ketsurang's dismay, Mei Ying Karaket is spoiled and evil. Even her dearest betrothed Pordek hates her and vows to stall their wedding for as long as possible. While there, Kate Surang does merits and good deeds to rectify the damages done by Mei Ying Kara Kate in hopes of returning to her modern day world. In the process, she slowly wins the love and admiration of the entire village, including Poor Date. This is a wonderful, light hearted romantic comedy lacon. This show has so many things going for it sweeping romance, liberal sprinklings of humor, good introduction into the Thailand's ancient history beautiful sets and costumes and a storyline which doesn't spin itself into unnecessary knots or is packed with fillers. It just shows you that you don't need the typical cliches from a drama to be a hit. Number 5. Yutakan Prab Nangman Rampapat has to take her father's place as the executive producer of a film production company. Her name means angel but everyone looks at her as the devil. She can hit everyone with her eyes and kill them with her words. Yuta Khan, who is a player and cunning, is her new secretary. He needs to quell her with his plan and during this plan, he falls in love with Rampavan. The story is average with lots of cliches and typical dramatic supporting characters. But the development of the story made me to watch until the end. Rampa and Yuta had mind-blowing chemistry. The she devil and her handsome secretary to the rescue was a perfect combination for any good lacon. Number 6. Hua Jai Silla Tor is a love child of a mistress and a wealthy Hiso man. After her mother dies from neglect, Tor is forced to live with his father's family. Abused by his stepmother and stepbrother, he turns to the girl next door, Mingta, who also suffers neglect at the hands of her so called mother and sister. One night, while being chased by his stepmother, Tor jumps into a river and is presumed dead, though he survives. He is then taken under the wing of another prostitute who knew his mother and takes on a new life under the alias Silla. Years later, he returns as a notorious rich pimp with plans to avenge his mother and to get revenge for the torture and pain brought to him by his stepmother and stepbrother. Silla's main goal is to hurt the people that hurt him as a child, but he never expected to see the only friend he ever had as a child, Mingta. As soon as they see each other, she realizes that he looks familiar to her. She notices a ring he wears around his neck and immediately comes to the conclusion that he's tall, her childhood best friend that supposedly died. But he denies it because of his revenge plan. Number 7. Roy Le Manya Picha is a confident, modern and outgoing CEO. Unfortunately, her playboy husband does not share her integrity. For a long time, she hoped he would become a good and a loyal husband. But when she realized that he was unlikely to ever change, she pursues a divorce. This decision leads Picha to Ramin, a lawyer and her childhood friend. While Ramin is helping Picha get a divorce, he falls in love with her. With Picha's failed marriage, she is scared to even consider another love in her life. And Ramin has his own struggles from past relationships. So what will happen to Ramin and Picha when fear and uncertainty undermine desire? Number 8. Plug Nari Risa is the illegitimate daughter of cunning Burafaki. He was forced to flee to Trigis with her mother by the hands of her father's family. In Trigis, her mother married King Rael and she became Princess Prerisa of Trigis. But she could never forget or forgive her past. Seeing her mother suffer injuries from the actions of her father's family and how the culprits are living happy and comfortable, she decides to return to Thailand to seek justice by disguising herself as Risa, an employee at Burafaki. There, she meets Thipop, who is suspicious of her true identity. Number 9. Love at First Hate When a smart, handsome and foul-mouthed Dr. Paniti or Dr. Pup met a hot, sexy and thick superstar Chloe who is not his type and also he is not her type. They hated each other at the first sight. But when they have to live together, 
Something strange happened. It looks like Dr. Pup is falling in love with Chloe. To save his face from what he said before that she's not his type, he's trying to act not to like her. But can he? What will the ending of this two be? Haters or lovers? Number 10. Kun Mei Swam Roy. Sina disguises herself as her disabled older twin sister Syria and moves back in the Sutharak's house with her 2-year-old nephew Kausue. She learned that her nephew is the benefactor of her brother-in-law's wealth upon his death. Her brother-in-law's will states that in order for Kausue to inherit his wealth, his wife must marry his younger brother Athirath. Sina, under the disguise of her older sister, decides to marry Athirath for the sake of her nephew's future. She has no idea what obstacle lies ahead. Stay tuned to find out what she has to encounter and how Athirath is going to discover her identity. Number 11, One Lang Dok Mai. Anavin is a handsome, rich and spoiled man who doesn't care about anything in life. His grandfather gave him a condition to get his inheritance in which he has to work for Putchompu at her farm for a year while she takes care of his family's company. Pud is a tomboy who despises lazy and selfish men like Anavi, but her respect for his grandfather forces her compliance to his will. Step by step, their hate for one another blossoms into love. Number 12, Pramu Raumu works at a night club to earn money and pay her debt. She doesn't get along with Charun Thron because he misunderstood her, thinking she is a bad girl. One day, his parents ask Raumu to marry Charun Thron to remove the bad luck from him. She accepts the proposal just to get back at him. He pretends to be gay to avoid her, but she doesn't believe it. They will eventually start falling for each other, but there are obstructions to their love. Trinoch, Chaluntran's ex, wants revenge while trying to get Chaluntran back. There's also Mai Thong, rival of Pramukh's family, and Chaluntran's fling. Number thirteen, So Very. Two hotel moguls, once family friends, since the grandparents' generation, now sworn enemies, are fighting over who will reign supreme. Trinoch never thought that he would be a part of the hatred. Although his father is the son-in-law of Sri Mantra, his mom was only a mistress who was abandoned in America. Growing up, he never knew what having a father was like. Pramita is the only heiress to the famous emperor real estate mogul. She was pulled into the warring game after being drugged and sent to him as ransom. 4 years later, she came back with twin children but told everyone that they were her cousins. Renuth and Paramita meet again but standing on opposite side of the line as sworn enemies. Although they had the twins, not as chains of love but chains of enemies that tied them together unwillingly. Number 14, Cubic. The father of Ruthai Nak is in debt with a man called Lin Lang Ser, who is well-known member of the Hong Kong mafia. As the ugly duckling of the family, Ruthai Nak is a very intelligent student. but cannot compare with her sister's beautiful looks. Lin Langser decides to accept her sister as a payback for the high debts of her family. But when the day comes to pay the debt, the girl's father decides to run away with his eldest daughter. As a result of this, Ruthena is captured by Lin Langser's men and brought to his mansion. Number 15, Likit Heng Jan On the night of a full moon, two people from two different worlds that look alike switch places. From the past is Duong Qiu, a conservative and quiet girl, whereas from the present is Opal, a girl who is tomboyish and outspoken. When these two switch places, what will happen to them and the people in each world? So, which female leads are your favorite or do you feel the most inspired by? Please let us know in the comments down below. Also please be sure to like share and subscribe thank you